everyone, this is Chris with Elevation Construction. I'm here on site at a uh, maintenance call and um, just wanted to make this video real quick about GFCI outlets. And so let me tell you what the scenario is here. Let me turn the camera around. So we have a treadmill that was plugged in along with a refrigerator. And obviously I'm in the garage here. Um, all plugged in to the garage and then also we have this golf cart that was is also plugged in from time to time to get charged In fact right now it's charging up. So um, what happened was the client plugged in the treadmill turned it on and started running and It kept tripping the GFCI outlet So initially, you know, there was a bit of a concern like oh my gosh, I got a an electrical problem and in fact the client experienced the same issue in the master bathroom whenever they use the hairdryer so um, this house is probably about 14 15 years old and uh, you know it's still a fairly newer house and in really good shape um, but you know things kind of um, get um, a little bit old over time and I'm speaking specifically about the GFCI outlets so if, you, if you're running into a situation where you have uh, a scenario like this where not many things are plugged into the same area that, you know, that's not pulling a lot of electricity and your GFCI keeps popping, it is more than likely that your GFCI outlet is old and needs to be replaced. And it's a quick fix. Um, you could get an electrician to do it. They do charge a little bit more for hourly rate. Um, um, but it doesn't require a, a, a licensed electrician to switch out outlets. Um, so the GFCI outlets, uh, let me see here. I'll show you what it looks like. It's kind of hiding back here. So this is a new one. It was just replaced. Uh, so this will last quite a while. And uh, another one in the bathroom was also put in there. You also see these in um, the kitchens because every outlet that is close to a water source such as the kitchen or the bathroom and then anything that's outside or in the garage they're all going to be connected to some kind of GFCI okay so if things are popping because you know if your house is a little on the older side let's say 12 years or more and those outlets are original to the house and you start getting uh, issues where the GFCI keeps tripping um, it's more than likely that you need to just replace the GFCI outlet. So anyway, just a quick tip on that. Uh, you know, there's no major electrical issues with it. Uh, initially, they were concerned and they went to the electrical panel and were looking for issues there and they didn't find anything. And they wouldn't only because it's a GFCI issue. All right. Well, that's about it. Uh, like I said, this is a quick tip for maintenance here in Houston, Texas. If you want to check us out for more work, elevationconstructionteam.com. We do construction, we do build up, uh, ground up new construction, we do renovations, multifamily, single family. We also have a maintenance division up in Washington right now. We're looking to open that up in Houston as well. And uh, if you want maintenance, go to our website, elevationconstructionteam.com. And on the top, you'll see maintenance slash handyman. And that's where you can submit your work order and uh, get some service from Elevation. All right, thanks a lot. And we'll talk to you soon.